My mother passed her test in a Ford Anglia. Crikey. Mm. Didn't know they were around back then. <laughs> She'll watch this, you know. know. Look at the state oh, of this, Elton. Yeah, but if you made it like legal. There's moss growing there. And Nothing there's... that a bit of moss, a gaffer tape wouldn't sort. Oh my lord, no. Do you want to go for tonight's star prize? <laughs> this is what you could have won. <laughs> Hi, my name's Elton. And I'm Claire. And we're UK Barn Finds. Today, we are at Anglia Car Auctions. We're having a little bit of a preview of a preview. We are, yeah. It's the 3rd of April. You'll probably see this around the 4th or the 5th, we hope, because they've got a <laughs> massive sale on the 6th and 7th of April, 2024. So have a look around with us. Claire's going to take the lead a little bit today. So please give her a hand, comment, <laughs> let her know what you think of the car she's looking at. No I'm pressure. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to do my best behind the camera, but I will chip in with a few comments because I can't help myself. So mm. let's not mess around, <laughs> let's crack on, shall let's we? Let's go check them out. So let's start at the start. This is where the cars for the Saturday traditionally get lined up. Um, viewing day is tomorrow, so they will have little info cards and bits and pieces in the front windows for you to have a look at. We're just going to go on the fly, aren't we? We'll give it have a go. Have a look around, <laughs> see how we get on. So yeah, without any further ado, MG Midget. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Do you like that? It is tidy. Tidy, I've driven them, they're nice, fun. Yeah, they are. Look, they do look nice. Triumph Spitfire 1500. This is one of the later ones, I think. That's um, a tidy looking little car. Yeah, if you come and have a look here, actually, look in the interior. Looks, oh, wow. looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at the seats. They must have been done recently. Yeah, that does look like it's been restored at some point, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly poke my head in here, Claire. Yeah, go for it. Because we do like... An MG Midget. All in black, look. Yeah, that does look pretty cool, I must say. So... A car I recognise. Yes, eagle-eyed viewers may recognise this Mark 1 Ford Fiesta. It was ours. We've popped it into the sale, haven't we? At no reserve. Yeah, we'll have a catch up about this later. We've actually got a few cars in the sale because yeah. we just need to clear the decks a bit. All will be revealed at some point, I'm sure. But if you fancy it, up and running, needs a bit of work. You can see it all on our videos, just take a look. Okay, moving on from the uh, Fiesta, buy it. <laughs> yeah, buy actually, the Fiesta. don't buy it. Right, yes. what, what have we got here? Oh, that's a nice little MG Midget. 1960s. That's it's got an different. Ash yeah, it's got an Ashley hard top. Someone okay. in the comments will know what that means. I've got no idea at all. It looks cool. It does look really cool and the colour. I'm not sure if the camera will do it justice, but the colour is really quite lovely. Um, along what with the I wheels. What I find quite funny, Claire, is like you're not exactly huge, but that car looks tiny. Oh really? Right next to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't Brilliant. know if the door will open actually. There we go. Oh, come and have a look at this. You've got to love this. Oh. Look where they've used those labellers, one of those old fashioned labellers. Where am I looking? Oh, up on, on yeah, 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 all the, the switches. I used to do that with minis. And is that a radio or a stereo down there? That looks awesome. Yeah, an old radio, some gauges, spotlight switches. Awesome. It really is tiny though. I'm not sure whether that's going to come across on camera, but it really is. I'd love to. I can't really wait to hear diddy. it. I bet it's quite throaty. So we'll be able to hear it properly on Saturday because I'm going to be here. You're going to be here Saturday and Sunday maybe? I hope so. Yeah, so we'll be able to hear it go through because if you don't know, Anglia Car Auctions is an old school auction where they all drive through. So you get all the sights, smells and sounds of all the cars going through, which is pretty fantastic. It is a real experience. Yeah, it really is. That is a Fiat Coupe. And I really like the colour on this. It's really nice. I've never seen one in that colour. Yeah, it says... 2.0 turbo nice. very nice and of course i recognize <laughs> this rather awesome looking a30 i mean it's got quite some um individuality about it you're gonna hasn't get it? noticed aren't you yeah you are gonna get noticed but what a fun looking little car well, someone must they're... have had a great time with this i reckon yeah. do you want to come and have a look in here elton we know they're fun anyway 
And this one's been made a little bit more fun, I reckon. Yeah. Look, interior light works as well, Claire. Yeah, look at that. Sweet looking car, that. It is, very nice. Yeah, I like this pinstriping here. Is that what you'd call it? Um, Detailing? Yeah. Kind of pinstriping. It looks like it. Is it done by hand? Is it like proper paint? Yeah, it's done by hand. Awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Old school. Really nice. Okay, MG Porsche. It's a Boxster, isn't it? This one, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a Boxster. You ever fancied one of those? Well, Not really. I haven't, but I wouldn't say no now. I think they've come into their own now for me. Yeah. I think they were a little bit, I don't know, a bit too pricey and off my radar before. <laughs> yeah, of course. But now they've sort of become into the, this future classic-y type thing. Yeah. And they're quite desirable. Sort of 1990s BMW there, I reckon. Convertible. 323i. Oh, now this is one I'm interested in. Right, go on. So this is an Alfa Romeo 145 Cloverleaf. Okay. So this is the performance level. Um, if you come with me, I just want to show you some interesting bits about this car, because I actually really quite like this. So it's quite interesting because I don't, I've never seen many leather versions of these. Mostly just see cloth right. seats for these. And if you look through there, the dash has been carved out see that massive yeah, bit yeah. there the idea being you can move the seat quite a way forward right and if you've got small children probably not adults they could come out without you having to all right yeah. raise the chair but i quite like a lot of the design on this we've got the pepper pot wheels do you see those yeah and you say it's a quite a performance spec yeah, and it's had an upgrade as well it's got a ragazon exhaust i think this particular okay. one so I saw some videos on YouTube, actually, where people have put them on our baths and things like that, and they sound awesome. Yeah, cool. So, um, a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing, though. Cause, it is. I think yeah. it's, you know, it's a nice, merry mix of performance and practicality, isn't it? Yeah. I could almost do the school run in this, and couldn't style. I? style. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you sold that one, dear. Have I? Good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. I'm getting, yeah, getting my requests in now. This is lovely. Austin Healy Sprite, isn't it? An old classic, lovely Morris Minor. It's the law. You have to have at least mm. one in every classic car sale, don't you? Absolutely. This is a lovely example, actually, this one. Do you want to come and have a look at the interior? Wow. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Really, really nice. And it's actually got rear seat belts as well. Oh, yeah. So yeah, love that. Very, very nice example. They're like proper period seat belts by the looks of them as well. Yeah, I don't know much about these. They're Marlins, I think, Marlin Sportster. Right, so we'll have to look that one up. That'll be based on something. Yeah, some sort of pit <laughs> car -y type thing. But what a lot of fun that could be. I don't know if it had a guide price or a reserve on it, but things like that sometimes slip under the radar and can be a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, we've got a lot of wind today yeah. in King's it Lane. It's a rattling. It's a rattling. So yeah, VW Beetle. Again, you've got to have one of those in the yeah. sale. Uh -huh. Not your cup of tea, are they, Beetle? I, do you know, I was looking at one before <laughs> we started filming in the sort of barn finding section, which we'll come to later, and thinking, actually now, I don't mind them and my friend had one. Yeah. And I was thinking the other day about the fun times we used to have. Yeah. When he used to give us a lift to from work and out and stuff. So they do actually have a little bit, bit of place in my heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to them. And then if we can hear me ah. about the, the shutters, this is a, a Nissan Escargo. So this came out of the Pike factory of Nissan, along with the likes of the Nissan Figaro, the BE1 and the PAL. So um, 
play on words, which I love on this. Yeah. So escargot is for small cargo, right. and also escargot is in the French for snail, because I think it's based on an old C two CB van that it's they that's... used to nickname the snail. Yeah, I think. it's that sort of shape, isn't it? Yeah. Probably that sort of pace, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> I think they, they had spent quite a bit of money on this actually, right. a couple of grand. Obviously it looks like, that wind's quite bad. It looks like, you know, the body work, the body work and various bits and pieces need attention. But it's interesting, you know, I think it's a three speed automatic mm. gearbox in these. I like them because they're quirky. Yeah, I mean, you're certainly gonna um, turn heads in that, Ooh. aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It's kind of cool. I'll just get the other side of you. Ah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll try and get around the front. It's quite tight in here for space. <laughs> MG BGT. Yep. Very nice. S stole water, the British classic car scene. Yeah, and it's this Love. one in particular looks like a really nice example. It is it's nice, that. Yeah, nice, lovely striped seat interior, actually. Come and have a look, because yeah. I do like an MG striped interior. It does look rather lovely. Oh, yeah. See if we get much through the reflection. Yeah. We'll try. We a bit, it needs a bit a little little bit of TLC. Yeah. I'm looking around it now, but that's perfect. That means you can drive it without bits, worry. Yeah, little bits here and there. Yeah. But on the whole, I think it's not well, it's kind of the level that we like, exactly. to be honest, isn't it? Well, we not, don't like anything too precise, no, you can too park particular. It at a supermarket and not worry about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Now I love this. You may well <laughs> Elton's already rolling his eyes, and I dare say a few of you in the comments are as well. But this is an Austin Metro Vanden Plas, and um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. This, I love it. I don't know if you can get in to. I doubt it. I'll try the back door. <laughs> Giggity. More right. tea, Vicar. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it hasn't got, which would be lovely if it did is those obviously those fold down picnic tables yeah. that the actual Vanden Plas cars have. I can't see a great deal from here without bump, bumping into the MGB and I'm not going to do that. No, so we might not want to do that. If you want to see more of it, have a look on the Anglia Car Auctions yeah. website. They'll have interior photos, videos and all sorts. They will, they have. As yeah. they do for every car. Absolutely. They're a nice little more modern MG here. Yeah. Again, they've got quite a following now. They have, haven't they? We saw a lot of these at Rustable, actually, mm. didn't we? In all their different incarnations. Now this is something special. This is the Skoda Super Estelle. And do you want to hear a story about this car? This particular one? Or... This particular car. Go on, eh? So, okay, so in the late 90s, the owner took it for an MOT, it failed, it needed loads of welding, had more holes in it than a Tetley tea bag. A Skoda? <laughs> I know, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, sold it to a scrap merchant for £25. The scrap merchant then sold it to, and I kid you not, a Mr and Mrs Nutter for £75. They basically renovated it, did it all up, and it spent most of its life in a heated and carpeted garage. Wow. It's done very little mileage since they restored it. So that's probably why we can say this looks so good this particular mm. one and how it survived so thank you mr and mrs nutter because you've done an awesome job of yeah. keeping this survivor haven't uh, they and i can tell you now that's partially set the internet alight i've seen talk of oh, this right, car okay, yeah, yeah. on social media well i think we ought to have a look inside if I'll you give it a go if I'll... you can manage on it it's a bit tight round here folks if you come past me first and you okay. do you want me to hold the camera or no, all right? i can do it like this so. But yeah, it's um, look at how well that is inside. It doesn't look like it's even with satin, does it? Beautiful, really is lovely. And when's the last time you saw one of those <laughs> out and about? Not very often. Are you talking to me or the people in general? I'm talking to you. <laughs> when's Sorry, the people. last time you saw one of Never, these? Out I, and about? I can't honestly remember. I can't, I'm thinking of the 1990s, yeah. that's the last time and I saw. I'll have forgotten them. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it sounds terrible, but they back then they were a forgettable car. Yes. And now they're cool. Yeah. Which has is... happened to quite a few cars. Yeah. I just can't get over that though. I think it looks lovely. Vauxhall <sighs> uh, Astra. 
don't really know much about that particular car, do you? Not, not me. I haven't looked at that one. That's not my sort of thing. But that will, <laughs> that will be leaving here at the weekend. It will with a happy be. new owner. So I'm sure it will. That's the great thing about this whole classic car world: different horses for different courses. Exactly. And I really like these Rover Two One Sixes. Yeah, that's quite funky. Yeah, and. Let's have a look inside, because obviously I'm seeing these for the first time as well as all of you. Yeah, this is lovely. Come and have a look. Proper sort of 90s style design on the cloth there. Yeah, nice little bucket seats, quite racy yeah. interior, really. No, I'm, I quite like this. We'll say it a few times in case you skip forward to a certain car in particular. Um, AngliaCarAuctions.co.uk. They have details on every single car in this sale, including all the photos inside, outside, under the bonnet, mm. and with most of them, a video as well. So do check them out if you're interested in it, any of these, because we're just quickly whizzing past them. Yeah, yeah. So it looks racy because it's a GTI. Yeah. <laughs> it is. yeah. Really, really nice. Lovely, lovely condition. Yeah, lovely. SLK, I like the number plate. Ah, oh, that's the hint, was it? <laughs> when we struggle with some of these makes and models, well, not the makes, but the models especially. That's it does help if you put a private plate on. It does, but yeah, it's three and a half litre, I think, that one. That'd be nice, that. Yeah. You but, used to own one, didn't you, an yeah, SLK? A, a, an older, smaller engine one, and it was oh, lovely. Okay. I would never knock them. No, no. I used to get told I was a hairdresser and all those sort of things, but honestly, great car. Never let me down. Lovely. TR7? Oof. Nice, eh? Mm. <laughs> I love this in, this checked interior, this beige checked interior. Nicely presented, that. It is very nicely presented. You wouldn't have to do a great deal to that, would you? Well, probably just drive it. It's exactly. I mean, check the listings, because I haven't read them, but these cars here, at least we know that they should all run and drive, because these are getting driven through are on Saturday. Are these two litre? I think. Honestly, don't know, love. Yes, two litre. There you go, you know more than me. Yeah. Which isn't hard. No. <laughs> That's lovely, that. Really, yeah. really lovely. And. P100 there. P100. We'll go up the middle as well because we haven't done those. Oh, gosh, yeah. P100, very nice. Not my sort of cup of tea. I can't imagine ever trying to drive something like this, but I dare say you quite like these. They have a good following now as well, yeah. 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 Left hand drive. Ah. That particular one. Oh. <laughs> now this is my my cup of tea. Look at this sunbeam tool, but beautiful. Absolutely love this. It takes you back to a different time. It's love. It's beautiful. I mean, come and have a look here. Look at the dash and the dials. I mean, they're just lovely. Look at that. Mm. That's nice. Absolutely beautiful. But I think from a personal perspective, I'd just be terrified to own something as lovely as that, you, you know? You need to live in the right place and have the right accommodation for it, don't you? Oh, for sure. A pig farm isn't the right place for <laughs> it, <laughs> which is where we live. <laughs> Probably not. Lovely looking Jaguar here, beautiful. Nice. They, they are nice. Yeah, it's an early S type, I think. I uh, think. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Yeah, 3.4. But absolutely stunning colour. Isn't that beautiful? So we've had a look around this hall. Beautiful. Sorry, I just want to have a Go on, then. show everyone in here because it really is if the door's open. I get Come worried when Claire takes this level no, of interest but just, in any car. Just oh, my. look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Do you drive it or fly it? Yeah. <laughs> All those switches and yeah, just beautiful. Um, hand built, I presume, the yeah. inside back then. You do what I do, Claire, <laughs> and I'm just going to point this out. The, the, don't shut the doors properly. because it's not your car you do it really gently oh, like me, I know. Don't you? just give it a little bit more of a oh god got me to do it there there we go <laughs> it's fine <laughs> i'm always too scared to slam them because they're not my car <laughs> <laughs> so should we go around the corner and have a look because they usually put a few barn finds yeah around let's the corner. do that so here we are at the sort of nun runner barn findy little section that we've got here in the main hall 
And this is a Ford console. And I have to say, I'm a bit puzzled because it looks so lovely. I'm wondering why it's in the non-runners. Do you know that one? I do know a bit about this because it's on my radar. Ah. <laughs> um, believe <laughs> it or not, me. you look at it, it looks like it's come out of a showroom just now. It's actually been in storage since 2012 and it needs a complete brake overhaul. So I'm not sure if that means it runs. I, I need to check the description on the website, but you need brakes if you're going to drive through with members of the public milling around. Yeah. But it is beautiful. It's got a lovely bench seat actually here in the front. Um, it's going to be a popular car. Yeah, with an armrest in the middle there, look. Let's have a look. Wow. Obviously the lever looks a bit cracked and tired, but it's perfect. just how you like it. Yep. That's <laughs> how I feel most days. <laughs> <laughs> and me. Ah, so we've got a Barn Finds VW Beetle. Second I, one in the sale. I like the look of this, actually. It's it, got some nice, dare we use the word, patina. Patina, patina, how patina, are we supposed to say it? We patina. get told off either way, don't we? I know. I'm guessing it was last on the road around 96, okay. judging by the tax disc, but you never can tell. But yeah, it's a nice thing that, don't you think? I like that, yeah, that looks, you just want to get that dust off, don't you, see what she looks like underneath. <laughs> you do really, don't you? And then going from that, <laughs> we go to a Porsche. <laughs> I, and I, it, I personally especially love this one because it's got the Pasha interior. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it's got all the, can you come get your leg up over there? <laughs> yeah, you just open the barrier, do <laughs> <laughs> It's got all the checks, you see. Oh, wow, it's got yeah. the cloth checks. And you get, you tend to see the Pasha interior in this or the black and white looks pretty awesome, as you can imagine. Mm. But yeah, proper 70s, 80s, isn't it? Love it. Really, really nice. I need to read up on this one and I'm sure other people will too on the website, but it looks in great condition. I'm just guessing it hasn't been run for a while. I, yeah. I don't know the story on it. No, I don't know the story on this particular one. Sadly, I can't know everything about 250 cars, but no. <laughs> I know about a few of them, but this one in particular has stolen my heart. This is a Series 3 Lancia Appia and um, it's not UK registered. So okay. if you were interested in this, you'd need to go and do some paperwork. It's got the Nova, which is the crucial yeah. thing that you need. Um, so that's okay. But lots of things that I like about this car. Can you come over the barrier or slip the barrier down? That's, yeah. yeah. That's pop this down because there is a lot I want to show you on this because it's just stunning. Hmm, I'm starting to get the impression you have actually oh, researched this car. I know, I really, really love it. Shall I go around the other side and yeah, join you? Yeah, come meet me around this side. I'll meet you inside, look. Oh, okay. Oh, that one's locked. That's a shame. Is your side locked? I have no idea, my dear. I was I'm gonna just a cameraman today. I was going to try and show you that there's suicide doors on this. Are they suicide or opera or... No, suicide... There's so many different terms. That's it. There we go. And can I open this bit? There wow. we go. So feast your eyes upon this. So yeah, pillarless, suicide doors, lots of things. I love bench seat in the front, yeah. which I think is fabulous. But there's just a couple of things that are putting this off for me. What's that? Well, it's got no synchro on first and second gear. That's and... not going to make any difference to you. <laughs> Why, you cheeky monkey? <laughs> Honestly. But it's got, and it's a column shift as well. So genuinely, I think this could be a bit of a disaster for me personally. Right. But I want to show you these dials because they're beautiful. Hang on a minute. Before oh. you do, my dear, <laughs> yeah. do you think Steph from iDriver Classic would shy away from a column change in those No, things? she's a lot braver than I am. Yeah, I just so put that out there and more for get, her. For <laughs> borrow some of her brave pills and get in there. <laughs> I think I might have to. <laughs> what am I looking at? Look at these dials. So you can see, and they're all written in Italian, if you can see there. Wow, you might need Benzino, to. which I presume is fuel. Mm. Then you've got oil and water, it looks like. Yeah, she's a, but just she's a pretty style. thing. She is. And so is the car. Oh, what are you after? <laughs> Lift home. He wants, to, he, wants to, he wants to buy a car, that's what it yeah. is. This is what he does, he softens me up, you see. Um, but yeah, I love that Lancia. Now this is a Riley RMF, is it? You know more than me, do you? I think. Riley RMF. Is this the one that came 
with another because there's a, a, like a so spares one. There's there? another one, another non-running sparesy type RMF in the sale as well. Right. Um, I don't know a great deal about these, and, and I'll be honest, it's not really my sort of cup of tea. Really? Um, but yeah. No, honestly, I'm genuine. No, I thought no, you like. No, genuine. It, you kind of like the more. Yeah, I think it's. I'll be honest with you. I think it's because I'd be concerned about driving these older cars. You know, maybe I need to be convinced. I think we need to go and drive a few more. Yeah. Maybe go back to the Great British Car Journey or yeah. chat to some friends who've got some more vintage stuff. I mean, it looks beautiful, but I just, I honestly just can't see me sort of driving to Tesco to do the big shop in it, you know? It'll fit. Yes. <laughs> How many spaces and talking would you need? Of, <laughs> talking of ones it'll fit in. Actually, I ought to, oh no, we can go around this side. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, now this is a cool looking van, isn't it? The comma. PB, comma would it be? I believe so. And um, someone started on this, haven't they? Converting it, I oh. presume, into some van life, motorhome style. Well, no, they are a camper van. If you look at the roof, I think that's probably from factory. Oh, right, okay. Um, but they're gonna, obviously we're gonna was intend having a refit. on fitting it out. So it's Let's got some stuff in it. Yeah, go and have a look. I particularly like the sign above the back doors. You check that out. Oh, I haven't seen that. Let's have a look. I, I like the fact you've got all of this going on, which is brilliant. Obviously lots of bits and pieces. Yeah. Looks really solid. No seat. And then they please refrain from sitting <laughs> on or in this vehicle. <laughs> or the vehicle. Right, I need to squeeze Check around the back. Check out the sign, yeah. Okay, around the back. Yeah, it's so... It's going to be fun. It's a long way round. It's... There's a sign, there's a sign above the uh, back doors, which is okay, quite funny. Okay, well, bear with me, dear. Well, I like this. Great alternative to the VW. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, no, look. it looks the business, doesn't it? Yeah. Where am I looking, Claire? Inside the van, you plonker. Oh, what? Why are you looking what at What did the you just call me? <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Finally. Oh, oh, my God. We got there. Now I've seen that on um, <laughs> Vietnam era military vehicles. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, but um, <laughs> that's quite funny. Found it in the end, dear. Yeah. And there's a free crowbar by the looks of it. And we should probably also mention, we won't look at the automobilia today, but a few little bits and pieces you can see here form part of the automobilia catalogue. And that is actually, that's not on the live stream, the automobilia auction, right. but you can still bid online and come here in person, of course. And the automobilia auctions run before the cars, which is generally around 12 o'clock, isn't it? The car starts, yeah. the automobilia starts at so 10. So the automobilia starts at 10. Both days. Yeah. So yeah, you've got some cool looking carts and some bicycles and... I think they're Ford Fiesta Super Sport wheels. Oh, they okay. They said on the website there. That's cool, isn't which it? Which actually look quite cool on a early yeah. Fiesta. Yeah. And last but not least, Jaguar E-Type. Mm. On the dream list. <laughs> Maybe one day, eh? I can't even afford the thing next to it, Claire. <laughs> Is that one of those J40 pedal cars? Yeah, is I it? believe so, yeah. Yeah, they're really well, cute, aren't they? they is are. that the children race those at Goodwood, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Like the Revival. Be oh, there's some cool looking petrol pumps there, look. And a Norton sign. Yeah. Have to be a bit careful with the signs because they're not always original old ones, are they? They can be reproduction ones. So yeah, yeah. Um, whenever you're buying signs anywhere, that is, you just want to make sure. If you want, if you original, want that, yeah, you'll have to pay original prices. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the thing. So if you see a sign going for probably a lot less than you'd think, then um, you know. There's a chance. There's a chance. But then there's also a chance this is an auction. Yeah, exactly. You never know, do you? Right, shall we go into the next hall? Yeah, let's do that. Yay. I'm just showing the terms of sale. Ah, oh, nice. Go, Claire, what have we got in this hall of dreams? <laughs> in this hall of dreams, we have this Ford Escort RS2000 Custom in diamond white, I believe. It's a lovely looking car, isn't it? And actually had one in the last sale, if any of the viewers remember, in Cordova Beige. And, um, 
That's sold, I think, for 25,000 and a half, provisional. Right. But it did sell in the end, I think. Okay, so, what's, um, does this one guide it? Yes, I think this is around 25 to 30. Right. This one, and I must say, I think the bodywork looks a little better on this one. Really? Than it did the on the last one. The other one looked one. good. Yeah, the other one looked good, but it did have some bubbling and such like. Oh, right. okay. uh, around the bottom of the doors and things. Controversial. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Interior looks well. Um, I'm going to guess it's been restored at some point because yeah, no, cars it's of definitely that era been. Didn't survive that no, well generally. No, it would have been restored. Beautiful. I just, I just love the fishnet seats in here. So they look really I'll lovely, look. don't they? Yeah, come and have a look. Hats, um, hats off to whoever who done the restoration because yeah, it is, it, it is oh, brilliant. Word, yeah. Looks lovely inside, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got 24,000 odd on the clock, but I think it's gone round. Okay. So um, I think that's 120. Do some checks there. Yeah. yeah. Do next, some checks, but. Next, next door to it's not yeah. too shabby either, do Yeah, so this looks lovely. Ford Sierra Sapphire Cosworth. RS Cosworth. Yeah, RS Cosworth. Sorry, mustn't forget the RS. But yeah, beautiful car, this one. Lovely leather interior here. I think this is quite a recent restoration, mm. this particular one. Ah, oh, look, see the sapphire badge here on the side. I'll walk around in a moment. Yeah, you're just taking it all in, are well, you? Well, I'm kind of like giving the Ford fans out there <laughs> a bit of a moment because look, I'm going to look there. I'm going to look there. They do look and then stunning. Just ah. back there. You hadn't even noticed, had you? Because you. Yeah, so, so walked in backwards. <laughs> so Ford Fiesta 1.1 S. Now this is special, isn't it? Because we see quite a few of the 1.3s, don't we? Yeah, yeah. But we don't see many of the 1.1s. So beautifully wow. restored this as well, isn't it? I'm going to come around this way because I promised I'd look at that little sapphire badge. Oh, yes. And I don't want to let anyone down. Yep. Because it hasn't got a badge on the back, but it has got the badge there, look. Mm. I like these. I like the wheels. Look at the wheels. Ooh. Would they have been factory, do you think? Or? Let the Ford people tell us that. Yeah, well, let, let us know in the comments. Let me just get around here. I'd happily drive something like that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not normally, as you know, I'm not normally all over the retro Fords, but... I don't know what direction to go in. Well, we're, just... we're on the Fiesta, aren't we? Yeah, all right. We'll stick on the Fiesta. Yeah. That's fine. I love this. This is brilliant. Is it just low mileage, been restored? We need to, um, somebody check on the website and let us know. Mm. Uh, it looks very nice indeed, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Really nice. It's got a nice dealer sticker. We know Trigger likes a dealer sticker. We ought to show him. I think most car guys and girls <laughs> like a dealer sticker. We like a dealer sticker. There you go. Brooklyn Ford. Redditch 21212. That's a good telephone number, that, isn't it? it sounds like a radio station or a taxi <laughs> company. <laughs> well, those, do you remember those bloody 0898 advert things? No, used dear. To go back I'm in the day. Far. Far too All innocent. All the party lines. Oh, and right, yeah, those ones. Yeah. <laughs> Mini 30. Wow. Yeah, really lovely. I know lovely. someone had one of those. Do you? I had a Mini 25. Oh, I don't Were know you somebody. Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a Mini 25, just, which was, was, they were silver. And right. they, they're very nice, but the Mini 30 is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous with this black leather interior of red piping. Gorgeous. And... All the mini special editions have a little extra special badge on the wheel, and that is the badge for the Mini 30. And the um, 1959 to 89. Yeah. That's an amazing, Nick. It's really, really nice. <laughs> See, this is dangerous, folks. This is like going to a car show, but you can actually buy the cars. Mm. So. But fortunately, our wallets aren't full enough to... Um, to buy all the things that we perhaps like, is it? <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, another lovely MG here. ZT is. What I've noticed about the MGs we've seen so far, I think, was it a 
was it an MGF we saw around the corner? I, I think remember. so, yeah. Um, the paint has been good on them. Yeah. Now we noticed on some videos we were looking at a while ago that MGs of this era and Rovers tended to have a bit of crazing on the bonnets and things. Mm, these, mm. these two that we've seen so far. I've got a feeling though, correct, I, I may need to flash up a card and correct it, but this has got exceptionally low mileage, I think, this, okay. particular, this particular one. I would have a digital dash. I can't yeah, I, I was going to say, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd have a look, but I've got a feeling that's, that's had one owner and not many miles put on it at all. So yeah, beautiful TR5 here, isn't it? That is nice. Yeah. No Just... idea of the value of these. No. I think they fetch good money. Yeah. But it's, it's when I think of old British sports cars, mm. this is this is what I think of, you know. Mm, that, that sort of shape. Yeah, beautiful. Two and a half litre. Wow. That'll sound so, nice. Yeah, it should. Beautiful wheels. Love it. And as we're coming up to the Vauxhall pickup there, <laughs> I'm going to let you have a look around that whilst I have a look yeah. at the exhaust too. I just it's to beautiful. Oh, I love that. So is that a Brava? It is a Brava, a Bra Vauxhall Brava DI, whatever. I know nothing about these. Diesel injection, but that... <laughs> I know, like, people think of rare cars, they often think of exotic. Yeah. But I shouldn't have thought there were many of these left. Because it's a builder's truck, or, you know, that's what it was sold as. And look yeah. at that. I like that. <laughs> Doesn't happen for me. <laughs> no, no, that's just it. That's, um... But that's the great thing about this. There's something for everyone, isn't there? It's even, just such a mix of everything. Even as a couple, we can like different things. It's cool. We can. It's allowed, isn't it? Yep. I prefer this spider. We'll come back to that <laughs> we'll in a minute. We'll come back to the spider. Stick to the knitting, love. We're down one side. <laughs> So this is an exciting one, something I know nothing about, a Vauxhall VX. Love it. It's really cool, proper 70s looking, isn't well, that, it? With that's this... the thing, it just screams 70s. You love all that, don't you? Yeah. It's got this vinyl roof yeah. and... Um... The twin headlights. Yeah. Great front to them. Proper looks cool, doesn't it? What year is this, do you think? It'll be early 70s. All right, okay. What is it, L? You've got to look at the interior though, Elton, when you get a chance. What have we got? I don't think I've ever seen a dash that slopes quite like that. I'm not sure it will show it on the camera, but oh, that yeah. really slopes. If I try and backwards. hold that, I don't know if you'll see it like that. I'm holding that level. Nah, I don't yeah. think so. It won't, won't really it, show it, but it's proper sloped. But I love it. It looks really cool. Automatic gearbox. That's a great car. Yeah. Usable, I should think. What do you think's gone on here, look? It's soft or hard? Hard, yeah, it's just dried out. Oh, okay. You can um, maybe get genuine replacement rubbers or somewhere like Car Builder Solutions or somewhere probably have, you know, bits that will fit in there. Mm. But you can make that right, you'd need to. I mean, the seats look great, actually, don't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Seats and the carpets look very well indeed. That's, that must have been quite a thing. Oh, well, it God, is now, yeah. but back then it must have been quite a yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, look at the handles. Beautiful. Gosh, they are Anyway, lovely, let's not dwell they? too long, otherwise we'll end up <laughs> bidding. I know, and that's yeah. a terrible thing. We can't do that, Helen. No. So Land Rover, this is your cup of tea, really, I love, isn't it? I love an early series Land Rover. I think they're a great utility vehicle, so basic. Yeah. They've achieved so much. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd want to drive one every day. This looks in good condition, this canvas roof, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks new or Yeah, it does look new or fairly new. But yeah, Very beautiful nice. thing. Yeah. And it's placed next to a car. The size of our bungalow. <laughs> Ford Mustang. Yeah, let me walk all the way back Mustang Claire. Mustang Sally. <laughs> Hi Claire. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I mean a bit of a different postcode front right. to back on these, but wow, what a head turner. That is nice. Absolute stunner, isn't it? Left hand drive as you'd expect. Wait till you get to the next road, there's a sneak preview. Oh gosh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> 
Right, we're going to have to rattle through them a bit quicker. I know, enjoy it. A stag, of course. You have to have a triumph stag in every sale, don't you? That's a nice looking one. It is. I love the colour on that, actually. I haven't seen many stags in that colour, but it's very fetching. They sound nice too. Beautiful tan leather interior. Now, this is my cup of tea, I have to say. Alpha spider. Very, very pretty. Don't you think she looks lovely? Uh, I'm not going to answer that until I know roughly what they're <laughs> worth. <laughs> I know, I should see actually what the guide price is on this, but... It is pretty, I'll give you that. Oh, I just think it's absolutely stunning. Penis... Is it... Pina Farina? Pina Farina! Pina Farina styling. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm just trying to see how much it looks like. It's done just over 62,000 on the clock. Kilometres or miles, though? Yeah, that's a good point. Could well be kilometres, couldn't it? Yeah, it is kilometres. Yep, yeah, M3. A few people will be uh, getting hot under the collar over that one. Yeah, I'm probably going to say something controversial oh, here. No. I'm just going to lose the subscribers, please. <laughs> this is lovely, don't get me wrong, but my favourite era of BMW is the 1980s. Right, right, that's not too bad. Early 90s. <laughs> All right, I thought you were actually going to say something bad about no, no, this no, one. No, 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 no. I just find, for me personally, yeah. it's just an aesthetics thing. I just the modern ones all just look a bit too big and bloaty. Obviously, because of all the, you know, conditions they probably have to have now and all the safety and stuff. Wow. But um, that, no, that looks really it, comfy and safe what? and <laughs> it is growing on me. Fast. I'll be honest. <laughs> yes, it's growing on me a little bit. Right. So we've done the mini. Yeah. And the Fiesta. Yep. So we've got a pretty, pretty triumph here. TR what? TR4A. Okay. TR4A. So yeah, really, I don't know what it is about these old triumphs. I just really, I just really like Maybe these. we need to get a little two-seater British sports car. What well, would be I wouldn't a... say no, Elton. No, Let's but what I'm going to say here, if anyone's actually watching this guff, what would you suggest to be a good starter yeah. one to begin with? Something that's not, we're not going to cry over too much if it's not what we hope for. So we don't want to spend too much. No. Midget, MGB. Spitfire. Spitfire. There's, there's a lot to choose from. There is. The TR's probably a little bit, once you know you're committed to the cause. I've got a feeling that this has got quite a strong yeah, guide I, price. That's what I mean. <laughs> you, you've got to be fairly into them. Yes. To sort of shell out that sort of wedge, but my God, they must be worth it because people do every sale, don't they? They do. And that interior is, I'm sure you'll look at it in a minute, but it's absolutely stunning. Those black seats with the white piping and that. Awesome dash. Beautiful wooden dash. An awful reflection of me. <laughs> <laughs> that thankfully you don't get with the car if you buy it. Now, these are little pocket rockets, aren't they? These MGB Roadsters. Yeah, that does look. I quite like these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So small. Yeah. In height, it's quite, it's a longer car. Yeah, I mean, I'm five foot four and yeah. I'm kind of towering over yeah. this. It's, um, um, this vehicle. Fun to drive, I should think. Yeah. Really lovely. And now we're going on to your country of. Yeah, I seem Choice to be, I moment, seem to be I into a bit of the Italian stuff lately. What's happened? But this is a Fiat Familia, I think, or Familiare. Familiare, yeah. <laughs> I've probably just butchered that. I apologise. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> in Italy. But yeah, it's a cute little sort of family estate car, isn't it, really? It, it is cool. Um, and what a survivor, or being yeah. restored, I don't know. But to be in that condition, to be such an obscure car in the UK. Yeah. Um, I just poke my head in there. So yeah, four speed. Yeah, this is again. Four right. speed manual. It's lovely. It's got that lovely, lovely smell as well. I just love the basic, basicness. Is that a word? I love when you've got just they're functional. Yeah. You know, cars of that era and of that budget at the mm. time. And now, I mean, that would have been a dare I say probably a cheap car. Yeah. Uh, and now it's worth considerably more. I should think. I should think so. There you wow. go, school run car. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about cars, I'd probably have a bit of discomfort sort of um, driving. This is massive. 
Oh. I mean, it looks great. I, I love the look of it all, but look at the gear stick, actually. <laughs> look at this gear stick. It looks like a snooker ball or a pool ball. Well, it is. Well, you know, replica of. Yeah. It's beautiful. Would you, get, would you buy one of those, do you think? I see nothing wrong with that. Really? Yeah, yeah. What, in terms of practicality and stuff like yeah. that? If you want to just sneak around, keep under the radar, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've just noticed. So, da ding, da ding. Oh, we are in yeah. Mustang Alley. We are in Mustang Alley. That's a song there. <laughs> That's Mustang Sally, oh, I think. Da. Mustang Alley. <laughs> wow, yeah. Very, very pretty. It's just, the, it's just the scale of these that get me. Well, you think that comes from an era that yeah. would have been a small car-ish. Yeah, probably. Probably, because we were, you know, even the Americans, relatively speaking, mm -mm. compared to a modern Mustang, as you yeah. can see next to it. You can see why the mafiosi might have liked them. <laughs> you could fit quite a few people in these boots, couldn't you? Oh, my word. Let <laughs> we go there. <laughs> well, Bentley Continental GT. What do we think of this then? I think, from a personal <laughs> perspective, I reckon it's a lot, I'd like it a lot nicer to drive than I do looking at it. Yeah. If that makes sense. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's just not my thing. Yeah. But I bet it's beautiful. It's lovely inside, I bet it's comfortable. Yeah, but um, it drives well. Yeah, but it's quick. Let's see if, um, let's see if it's setting the alarm off. No? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean, that's quality. We do want to be invited back again. Quality, look at the floor. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's really nice. If you were churning up the motorway. Yeah. Miles, that would be beautiful. Rover Mini. Yeah. 1990s Sprites. And she looks really lovely inside, actually. If I can get in, there we go. Very nice. Lovely. With the obligatory peg on the choke. Yeah. Actually, it's on the heater, but oh yeah, it's for the choke. We like we we like a nineties Rover Mini, don't we? Yeah, well, especially because you drove one for the first time not so long ago when we got our side. I like the reliability of them. Yeah. I prefer age. Yes. To me, they're modern, even though they're like 30 years old. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? But they do have some nicer features in them. Absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah. A lot um, easier to drive. A lot, lot they easier stop better. to drive, stop better. The brakes are great. Um, and they start. Yeah. There's actually a line of TVRs here, isn't there? You see three of them lined up there. Don't jump ahead of yourself. Oh, well. okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk around this little fiesta. Okay. So that you can show the viewers this uh, beautiful machine. Carmen Gear. Such an unusual looking front end, isn't it? They're awesome. Love but they're them. kind of cool. I like yeah, them. Yeah, I do like them. Yeah. Right hand nice... drive as well. Oh, wow, yeah. Watch, Which watch is it. good. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful colour. Very nice indeed. And what have we got next to us here? Ah, now this is a Hawk 289. So it is a, what should I say, an evocation, as they like to say, or as I'd probably put it, replica mm. <laughs> of the AC Cobra. Right. But I like the Hawk ones because they are actually one of the better replicas. And there's things like, when you're looking at a replica, like the dashboard can give them away. This one has a really nice dashboard on it. It's some nice little details, um, which sets it apart from some of the other replicas that you can get. And I think this is actually, this is um, an Aston Martin colour. Right. It's been done in. This lovely sort of sage green. Okay. And but behind yeah, you? They're interesting. Oh, no, I was just going to say, because... Um, they have mainly MGB underpinnings, these, and um, this has got a Rover V8 in it. Okay, I thought yeah. the 289 might be an American lump, but... No, nah, you could probably have that, I suppose, but... So, we're going to look at the TVRs. We are, I've got to wiggle my, my way around here. <laughs> 
So this is a Chimera, if I've pronounced that right. And this is the Griffith. <laughs> Griffith. <laughs> Griffith. Which one do you prefer? If we had his and hers. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Um, this is the faster one, isn't it? The Griffith? No idea. Yeah, I'll I'm probably... going purely on aesthetics, because <laughs> that's how we I'll buy. have this, yeah, I'll have this one. Okay. It's got, it's beautiful, actually. I would take either, to be honest. <laughs> so, Shall we have a look inside? Go on, then. <laughs> without, me without breaking the door. Oh, there we go. Push down and in you go. Oh, look at, look at how low down it My is. My word. <laughs> Do you know what? The thing is, at our age, we might struggle to actually... Get up and out of it again. I was just going to say, once we're in there. my back's gone. There, go <laughs> yeah. That is really, really low. You sit almost on the ground. But yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? I'd take either of those. Yeah, hopefully. would you? Yeah. What about this one here? I don't know. No, nah, you're jumping ahead, oh, love. Right. <laughs> You've got to play by the rules. Okay. Porsche 911. Is it? Ooh. Isn't it? I think. Let me check. It looks like a 911. Yes, it is. This is a 911, left hand drive. And I'm allowed to jump across just for a minute because that's a 911 and that's right hand drive. So you've got <laughs> the option, whichever tickles your fancy. But yeah, they've never driven one of those, have you? No. 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 Oh. Hang on, lady. I know, but it's such, <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. Ford Granada gear 2.8. Wow. And do you remember one of our first barn find videos on our YouTube channel was of a Ford Granada 2.8 gear. Getting dragged ago. out of a barn, it was. Stuart. Yeah, it was Stuart. Well, but yeah. First job with Neil, that was. Yeah. For an NG vehicle logistics. Oh look. I you see I love these. We had one as a family car briefly. Until you had to fill it up with petrol. Yeah, no, it was a bit dear. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was super, well, super luxurious for us, to be fair, as a family. But yeah, I, oh, I just, I don't know, it's funny with cars sometimes, isn't it? Am I really pining after the car or the nostalgia or a bit of both? It's a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah, the, I think often the no nostalgia, this is what happens at a classic car auction. Yeah. People all often bid a little bit more with their heart <laughs> than they would with their head. And there's nothing wrong with nothing that. Wrong nothing wrong with that. You know, life's too short. Yeah. If you like it, you can afford it, go for it. You know, I sell it. This is another British sports car, the Stag, isn't it? That we could perhaps think about maybe. I think they were a bit mean to them back in the day. They used to call them Triumph Snags, didn't they? Did they? Well, they had a reputation, didn't they, for overheating. And I think there was a the engine was poorly designed. Um, and I think part of it was assembled in one factory. Right. <laughs> and then moved across to another factory um, to be finished off. And you've got to accept that, I guess, a lot of build quality issues may arise because of that. Um, but you've got to think, it's 2024 now. Yeah. That car's here. Oh, Any yeah, issues, no. issues will have been well and truly ironed out. Oh, no, they're out. well and truly ironed out. Okay. And there's a huge Triumph Stag Owners Club, mm. huge support network, and they're hugely popular, aren't they? Probably a bit like when we did our Allegro video, there are probably loads of myths about them as well mm. that they'll soon dispel if you've yeah. got one and spoke to them. Yeah, no, absolutely. Bit of maintenance is normally what it needs. Yeah. So this is, I don't know much about it. See, it's too modern for me. 2006, too isn't it? <laughs> it's huge, so it's got to be a five or a seven, isn't it? Yeah, seven series, 750i, and uh, looks very comfortable indeed in there. I'm guessing as it's in this sale, and Guy Snellin, who puts the sale together, he's a wily old fox. <laughs> that's probably one that's good to tuck away. Yeah. Or oh, use it now, by all means, but Future it's one classic. that's going to go up in value. So this is an MG ZS. 180. Wow. <laughs> so carrying on the themes, quite a few MGs in this sale, isn't That's there? These cool. Ones. Yeah, they're, it's funny how you get that. Sometimes you see none. Yeah. I mean, a bit like buses. Yeah. But that's, but that's very tidy looking, actually. The paintwork looks amazing on it. Doesn't look like it's done many miles. No, it really doesn't. And the interior, it's almost new, brand new. It looks lovely. 
So yes, here's the 911 again, <laughs> the right hand drive version, looking very well. I love those red brake calipers. <laughs> Don't they look cool? Look at that. Oh, I'll get you some red caliper paint for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what to put on Mr. Suzuki Swift? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we've got an older TVR here, a 1970s one. Is it, what is it, a TVR? 2500M. 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 Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. But it looks beautiful. But if you look in its interior, it's a bit of a project in that the interior looks a bit like it could benefit from some attention. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this side, but it's been driven. Yeah. Loved and well driven, but it looks... Set seat covers, you're away. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about would that. Would be for us, wouldn't it? I wouldn't worry about that, that's for sure. <laughs> no, it looks really, really lovely. Right, where are we going? So the Angria? The Angria, the Ford Angria, or Angria Deluxe. Isn't this stunning? I love these Ford yeah. Anglias. One day. Oh, isn't it lovely? Beautiful. My mother passed her test in a Ford Anglia. Crikey. Mm. Didn't know they were around back then. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. She'll watch this, you know. I know. <laughs> yeah, just, I love these. Really, really lovely. Really, really lovely. Right, should we go backwards now? We may as well take in the MG. Oh, yes. So what's that, TF? TF, yeah. TF that one. I know that one. <laughs> Get me Fs and me TFs. And yeah, me... it gets a bit complicated, doesn't it? But yeah, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, really, really nice. Well loved. Yeah, very well loved. And often if you see what we would consider a slightly more modern car mm. in this sale, they don't just take, you know, if we wanted to dump our old XC90s in here or something, they'd say <laughs> no. There's normally something, a reason they're here and they'll yes. be because they're low mileage, because yes. they're well looked after, yeah. a little bit of provenance there. So. That will be a nice car, I'm sure of mm. that. Now, I saw this online. I've never seen one of these before. It's called a Royal Sabre. Okay. And I know well, nothing about this, so I'm assuming it's like a kit car -y thing. Right. But, um, oh. There's one for the Google experts. Yeah, a Royale. <laughs> uh, with cheese. Royale, it says about, oh, it comes with, look, free hammer. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. But it's quite something. Yeah, what, is, what are those stalks from then? I recognise those. Yeah. Oh, someone out there will know. Yeah, so it's obviously a bit of a bit of a bit, sir. Yeah, but that's the great thing. I like these sort of things. Oh, they, yeah. They no, can I be quite them. divisive. Some people don't really get them. Oh, really? Yeah, but I do. I like it. I like the fact that people could do that. Yeah. So you've got another Porsche, but this is a Cayman, I think. Let's just double check. Yes, Cayman S. Okay, that looks fast. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, she's not having it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, even if I'd want this, it's so low to the ground, that oh, yeah. I think I'd be seeing the chiropractor on a weekly basis. And the potholes up the lane. Oh, gosh. No, but that's, that must be a great car to drive. Yeah. I can imagine. I think that... they're a bit easier to handle, these Caymans than the mm. 911s. So I hear. Right, so moving on from a Porsche Cayman to a Ford Escort XR3i. The Ford fans are going to absolutely love this one. I know. This is lovely. This looks really lovely and honest, actually. The interior looks all original. The plastic looks very well, actually. It's not cracked or anything, which we see sometimes, don't we? Mm. Um, yeah, what a really nice example. Can I see what the mileage is on it? 97,000 odd miles on that. That looks nice. Very nice. Now this will appeal to a, to a lot of the youngsters, won't it, this? Beautiful VW. So this one's set out as a bus at the moment then? Yeah. Seems strange not seeing one that's been converted, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, you've got a lot of seats in there because you've got the back row there. Yeah. The front row there, obviously, those there. So you're talking about nine seats, aren't you? Yeah, it's a pretty cool people carrier. And it's right-hand it? drive. Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to warm to it. I bet you are. <laughs> mm. It's a lovely colour, actually, isn't it, as well? Yeah, yeah. No, I like that. 
Now this is massive. I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> I'm having to move. But it's, oh, it's a Cadillac. Of oh, course it's a Cadillac. Yes. Because it's chuffing massive. It's a Cadillac Fleetwood, I think it said on the back. Yeah. So those in the know will know. Oh God, the interior though. It looks amazing. We like a bench seat, don't we? But look at this, and in the back, look at that massive, there's a massive armrest there. Wow. They knew how to build basically a living room on wheels back then. They did, yeah. Oh, look how tall this is. <laughs> Just this big. I mean, you're seven foot the two, scale. aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the scale is just bloody massive. Oh, now is this the Mercedes I was interested in? I don't know, it's an Elegance. Yeah, do you know there's a few of these older type of Mercs in, but they're very big engined, if I remember yeah. rightly. But I thought it would be quite fun for a school run mobile, you know? Don't shy away from a big engine. Just don't put your foot down. Because they're guided, yeah, because they're guided really low. That's the thing, you know, because nobody, funny enough, not a lot of people want to buy sort of five litre cars and what have you. I don't think it's that one now I've said all that, but I think that's a C220, so that's not bad at all. No, no, that'll be all right. But, um, Very neat. I love it. I love that era of Mercedes. I yeah. think they look great. And as you know, I'm a fan of... These sort of mercs. Yeah. Had a few. And you just get in and drive. Very nice. Now this this Morgan is um father and daughter owned, I think. Oh. If I remember rightly. So that's lovely, isn't it? It's got just over thirty nine thousand on the clock there. Really nice, isn't it? That's one we've never driven, is it, a Morgan? No, never. I'm going to just scoot around this way so that you can show us the moggy. You love a moggy, don't you? Yeah. I said this. This is a story for you folks. So I said to Elton, I love Morris Miners. I'd <laughs> love to have one one day. And what does he do? He spends five hundred pounds on one that's barely still structurally okay, and brings it home and says, "There you go. I've got you a Morris Miner." I don't even know if it's that good. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, the things I have to put up with. Learn to weld. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to, aren't I, with our collection of cars. But this is lovely, this. I don't know what it's guided at. I might pop that up on the screen. Looks nice. But it looks lovely, and I like the two-tone interior. Oh. One of my favourite cars of the sale is next. Now this. You're going to have to excuse my dodgy camera work because I'm going to oh, have to scoot around clear. It's so this small. This is amazing. This is brilliant, this. So this is a beautiful Austin 7 van and it's been restored so lovely. And, oh gosh, Elton, look at this. Hang on. We've got a starting handle here, but mm. we've also got a little laminated sheet to tell you how to start oh, right, it. Yeah. You'll need to know. Yeah. But what a lovely thing this is. I mean, there's not much you can fit into the back of the van, to be honest. So from a, a practicality point of view. Spare wheel. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter because it just looks lovely. I love it. Absolutely love this. Right. So we've got a few more along this back wall in here. My word. We're getting there. We're We've getting still there. got another two halls on the outside <laughs> to do, and I don't know how much battery. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get okay. there. Okay, we we'll probably need to scoot along a little bit quicker then. Yeah, I we think. probably do. We probably do. But anyway, just quickly, this these come as a pair, which is very unusual. <laughs> but they were sold oh, as a pair. Sorry. sorry. What? The car and the bike you're talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you've put me off. <laughs> Yeah, they were sold as a pair at the dealership, so this one is being sold as a pair here at the auction, which is quite interesting. I watched um, Guy and Freddie doing a preview, preview, the preview a few days ago, and they mentioned yeah. about this. And it, it's not often, possibly, there are none other that have been kept together like this. Although they were sold as a pair, they invariably got split up. So to have the bike and the car together is actually a really rare thing. Now that'll do. <laughs> Ferrari. 599. 
Yeah, 599 GTB. Let's pretend we could afford it. <laughs> Would you drive it? No. Why? I'm sorry, look, I get the Ferrari racing pedigree and the history, but they don't do much for me, I'm afraid. Really? Really. I'll be all over really. This, on the other hand, ah. I could get quite excited about this Lotus Esprit. I really like that. Beautiful shape. Well, you know I like an 80s aesthetic. That's iconic. And um, this just looks absolutely brilliant. And our friend Stuart from Sport and GT Cars YouTube channel. Should go check him out. Yeah, Sports and GT. Yep. He's all over these. He's all over these, yeah. But, oh, it looks lovely. Brilliant. Interesting driving position in those. If you want to go and have a look inside well, it is... i could have a quick look but i'm making sure i don't trip over the ones behind me because we have a <laughs> a pack of low tie <laughs> a low tie yeah <laughs> yeah you is are that... right down on the floor aren't you yeah now do you know what this one is elan it is an elan yeah. and i love the color don't you that lovely tangerine orange mm. you're not going to lose it no. <laughs> it's got so many switches and gauges in the cockpit. It's incredible. I'd just probably sit in there and I'd be constantly flicking and... Well, no, what you'd do is you'd be in a rush in the morning <laughs> and something would start moving and you'd, you'd wonder what you'd done the night before because you'd been fiddling around with it. You know, I could just about get the children in the back of there. Yeah, and thank, thankfully not get them out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and gosh, this is a Europa, is it, I think? Yeah. Such These a... are so cool. But they're so, I don't know, I think it looks a bit ugly, I'll be honest. Yeah, but that's what I like. It's just such <laughs> an odd shape. Yeah, I think it's because they're mid-engined, aren't they? And they say beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I, I love <laughs> unique, <laughs> odd, quirky. It's just... Is that what you thought about me when you met me? Uh, um, oh, God, that's a trap if ever I've heard one. No and yes. Europa special. That is lovely. Yeah. Just because it's... It would just... Everyone will ask you what it is. They'd, they'd ask you all about it, wouldn't they? If they you own something like this, you could just point them to the badge, look. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need to know. We won lots of stuff. <laughs> Again, you sat right on the floor. Yeah, that cool. must feel amazing. Oh, I like those. Right, right moving on. Yeah, and I'll be trying to be a bit quicker now. Right, so this beast here is a Kaiser Manhattan, and I've never seen one of these before. Have you, Elton? I don't know, but it's the size of Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it could spear somebody as well on that bit there. It's got its it? own skyline. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of it. That's ridiculous. It's massive. It's massive. I wish you guys were here with us because you'd be able to appreciate the scale that is, of this. That is just but enormous. I have to say, it looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Oh, what yeah. Beautiful colours. And I love the tea tone going on. It wonder is if, a beautiful looking We car. can get in. Oh, you can. Oh, Elton, look. This is just, it looks like a 50s diner on wheels. Do you know what I mean? Wow. But a very luxurious one. Doesn't that look lovely? Is that a column shift there? Oh, no, it would be, wouldn't it? I can't see from here because I'm looking through the screen at an extended reach, but I assume so on a car like this, yeah. Beautiful. And that, is this an eight track or so? It says Phillips on here. Looks like an old school radio of some kind Brilliant. looks really lovely so we're going from the mahusive the mahusive to the petite and dainty <laughs> now this is a rare austin 7 as you know i'm quite an aficionado of these oh. but this is <laughs> this is a tickford convertible and there aren't many of them about and it has a mohair roof and you operate the roof via a little handle oh it's not electric then no <laughs> I think this might be the handle. I'm terrified, of course, to yeah, touch don't, anything. Don't do anything like that today, love. No. If you break it, you bought it. Yeah, exactly. Actually, no, don't well, tell her that. <laughs> that's how I do it. But yeah, so it's very, you know, very rare, these ones. Absolutely lovely to look at as well, isn't it? So Beautiful. Cute. I love them. Oh, I love Austin 7s. I just love them, love them. And they've got this beautiful box saloon next to it. Oh, yeah. 
lovely colour. I think this is an older restoration, this one, but looks very well. I love the way there's instructions on each of those. It's <laughs> on these. Come and have a look in here. This is lovely. <laughs> look, little handwritten instructions. All oh, right, yeah, just a. I think with these you have to adjust the ignition timing and stuff to get it started and oh okay yeah there's all sorts of bits and pieces it was all normal back then yeah um, and if we take a quick sweep over to there you'll see there's a load of bikes in this sale as well we're not going to be able to have time to cover yeah. these i'm afraid but We've got everything from sort of super bikes to mopeds barn fine bikes to classics, classics. yeah vespers scooters uh, everything isn't there I love those Hondas actually at the back there. Mm. Is that a C90? It looks like an N50, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, I like that. The little crunches. So this is a MG YA. YA? YA. <laughs> or a Yar. Oh, look, come and have a look at the engine. Look, look it's got my favorite thing, cobwebs. <laughs> no. They don't take long to take hold, do they? <laughs> they don't. Oh, it looks lovely. I bet it smells good. Should I give it a good sniff? Whatever turns you on. Ah, oh, it smells like an old gentleman's club. And not those question. sorts, no, not those sorts of gentlemen's <laughs> clubs. I'm thinking more of the RAC club or oh. some lovely Mayfair club or something. But yeah, wonderful. Do you want to go for tonight's star prize? <laughs> this is what you could have won. <laughs> Bullseye speedboat. I tell you what, that's pretty cool, actually, isn't it? <laughs> I often wonder what Guy is doing until <laughs> I, I see, I know. you know, when he's put something like this in the auction, then I see it and I think, what a cool retro thing. Yeah, look is. at the seats, look, they, there's that retro stripe. I'll get stripe. in there in a moment. I'm just going to venture outside so I can try and get the whole boat in. That's brilliant, isn't it? Right, stern drive engine in it. Oh yeah, that's pucker. That's so cool. That needs to be used. <laughs> it I love does. it. I wonder how much the guide is for that actually, because I have uh, no idea. That would be pretty cool. We haven't done any research, look, and I have no idea looking at that. In it that is. Um, I'll tell you what it is. Go on, then. your moment <laughs> it of glory. Is my moment of glory. I don't have many, so no. I ought to, it's a Woolsey Hornet special. Ah, oh, it's a Hornet. It's a Hornet, as our son says. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like it could. Uh, it's got lots of bits with it. Oh, that'd be great, um, though. That's. I should think there's not a great deal um, that you could do wrong. Oh, you, no, you'd work it out. Put it that way. It's got some display ah. boards. Display boards here. That's cool. Yeah, they would have cost £289 new. I wonder what sort of state of restoration it's in at the moment. Yeah, it's Have hard. a look on a website if you're interested. Yes, Ang do. AngliaCarAuctions.co.uk, they'll have details. Now, this is more your cup of tea, isn't it? <laughs> I'm starting to, yeah. Americans are starting to sort of yeah. tickle me a little bit. Is that a Camaro? Yeah. Or is it Camaro? Don't you know. say Camaro, I say Camaro. Oh, I say scone. What do you say? <laughs> scone. <laughs> ah, it looks lovely though, doesn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Ah, Triumph TR3A. Is it? It is, yeah. And it's, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Triumph Officiados, but I think it's a minor upgrade on the TR3. It's got a slightly wider grille and the luxury, get this, the luxury of outdoor handles. All <laughs> oh, right, were well, they not a thing before then? No, a lot of the cars of this era, you used to have to reach in yeah. to open them, believe it or not. And then Herbert started nicking stuff, so you had to yeah. be able to lock them, I guess. That's but it, a shame. But doesn't it look lovely? I should mm -hmm. think that's got quite a decent guide on it, that. Oh, God. Subaru Impreza WRX. Yeah. Fun. Yes, you do fun, like Fun, fun, fun. You do like a Scooby, don't you? Well, I've got a Turbo 2000. Mm. So this is the the top, wasn't it the top of the range? Or was that the P1, wasn't it, I think? I was into Evos, not Scoobies. Yeah. Ask my mate Julian. He'll, 
Yeah. He'll sit down and spend about four hours telling you all about this it. This is lovely, though. You know, it's in the white with the gold oh, wheels. It is, it is a nice car. Looks, you know, it looks the business, doesn't yeah. it? Oh. So this looks like another sort of special. I wonder, actually, if it's another Wolsey Hornet special, actually, because it looks pretty similar. Um, I have mentioned it elsewhere in this video, but tomorrow or even later today these cars will all have information cards on them yeah i think it's i think it's another Wolsey hornet special another project for somebody yeah love the wheels on that projects can be a great buy because not everyone wants a project and talking of which ah ford escort mark one everyone will want this one mm. <laughs> So from what I understand with this one is a restoration was started in the 1990s and bits were collected and sought, which are at the back actually, Elton. There's some mm. Mexico doors, there's bits and pieces. It's a 1300E this, isn't it? It is a 1300E. And do you remember these? Look, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. Do you remember these little fluffy bugs that you used to Yeah, get? yeah. With Vauxhall on them, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't <laughs> quite know what that's doing in a... But, um, in a Ford, but yeah, the Ford a... guys will tell us about all these parts. They're all on the website because I don't know, but I saw someone comment that Mexico didn't have their own doors as such. I think that is a. Oh right, a, okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm not a Ford. We have guy. to be very careful with stuff but like this, don't we? I would have thought it's possible that someone back in the day was hoping to make a kind of tipping their hat to a Mexico. Yes, personally, it's quite often done, isn't it? Yeah, personally, I think it'd be lovely restored. Yeah, me too. As it is, because it looks all solid and someone's done a lot of the work. Yeah. More projects to your left, my right, dear. Mmm, Datsuns. You know more about these than I do. Well, it's a lovely pair. <laughs> 100A. Yeah. I mean, one's, well, I know, one, one's like um, an estate and one's a saloon, but it's hardly any difference when you look at them in this condition. They yeah. both look the same to me, but this one, obviously, this one has got the hatch back. In a bit more of a need of a bit more repair, I should think, than perhaps the other one. Hmm. And the other one, I'll just poke my head over there so I don't have to crawl down the back again. It's got a boot. Yeah. But these I like. Yeah, you've... Some time ago, when these first went on the website, you were very keen to tell me about yeah, these. Yeah, just so. you don't you don't see them. And no. I used to for a little while. I had one in. I think it was pretty much that colour. And I've got nothing bad to say about it, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> so these have been stored for quite a number of years. I think. Looks like they've been stored in a garage. Needing restoration. If you'd like to open that one, Claire, this yeah, one's sure. actually not done a lot of mileage. Oh, the interior's lovely. Oh, no, that's, I came up here the other what, week. What <laughs> an amazing... Oh, my gosh, I was not expecting that. Yeah, it's, um, the interior looks so good. What does it say it's done on there? 6,000 and something. 6.6. Six. And... Um, wow. I'd have thought that's probably right. So, yeah, great I'm amazed there. at that interior. Yeah. That's... Right, let's walk and talk as we go to the next hall because I did just want to have a chat about auctions for people who perhaps haven't seen or purchased at auction before. And that is that you may have heard us mention the term guide price. So that indicates that a car will have a reserve somewhere in between that guide price. But some cars are no reserve, which makes it all the more exciting because they could go for whatever they have to sell, they have to go that day. But if you are a winning bidder, you have to pay a fee. So that is 8% plus the VAT. So just bear that in mind. And if you want to bid either online or in person, you will have to make a deposit. And I believe that deposit is £500. That's just to weed out the time wasters. Um, yes. And make sure that you see. So you get it back, obviously, if yeah. you don't <laughs> buy anything. You get it back. And you're not obligated to buy anyway. No, no. You know, it's a fun place to come. We come. It's a bit of a social for us, actually, yeah. isn't it, really? You've got the cafe bit here. You've got the burger van out the back. Oh, now look at these two here. I thought it was the burger van that had Oh, that no, effect. I do love the burger van. <laughs> Morris Minor Traveller and the Morris van here. That's awesome. I think it's six carat weight. Is it? All right. Yeah. I'm six carat weight van. 
That is so bright, the uh, traveller. Yes. They'll see you coming. Obviously being restored at some point. Yeah, it's beautiful, that white with the black interior. Okay, which way are we going? Um, <laughs> it's hard to tell, isn't it? Let's go this way. Let's it's quite tight here. in here. I'm just going to warn everyone that yeah. camera work's going to be even worse than normal. So this is a little Triumph Spitfire by looks of things. Very nice. That's a, like a... Little pocket rocket. Well, it looks like it's another one that could benefit from a little bit of TLC. Yes. Which could make it a nice affordable project. Yes. Trouble is when they're restored, unless you just want to get in a car and drive, you're going to pay top dollar. And personally, I'd worry about it, but I love something like that. Yeah, it looks very nice, Paint doesn't work it? could do, do, you know, do a little bit of touching up if you were that way inclined. Yeah. What have we got behind us? Well, this, my dear, <laughs> is a Celica. Mm. <laughs> but I haven't seen a Celica like that before, have you? <laughs> I've seen a few of them coming over. Yeah, it looks lovely, recently, doesn't it? Recently, and um, Gosh. our roads are all the better for it because these didn't fare too well, I don't think, over here. Right back in the day, so you don't see many. Look so, at that styling, just the side view of this car. Looks like a baby Mustang. It does, that's exactly what it looks like. It's not tiny though either, is it? No. <laughs> it's no, not. Right hand drive, Yeah. beautiful car. I should think that's probably got a good guide stroke yeah. reserve on it, and yeah. it, it should have, because it is a lovely, lovely car. So? So we have a Land Rover, that's your department. We well, yeah. are. Another series, 2A I believe. Oh, okay. I've never had one this old. Oh, right, okay. My earliest is my 110 that I've still got, pre-Defender. But there are a lot of similarities, mm. like the air vent flaps at the front. Yeah, I love them. Very nice. Great fun. Scimitar. Ah. Didn't Princess Anna? Oh, <laughs> don't you start. <laughs> Joking apart, this looks lovely, this, did not it? These are getting a real good following now. Are they? You didn't see them for years. And then they started appearing and people would diss them. And oh, now, right, really? Yeah, and now people are realising that they're cool. <laughs> Look at this massive rear window on this. Yeah. I don't think I've quite appreciated the size of the, the rear window. Yeah, they're just so cool. A bit like that Europa Lotus thing. I just yeah. like the... the the quirkiness, the odd shape, the sort of, mm. yeah, who cares? Little yep. big window, just do it. Yeah, I'm right. conscious we need to speed up a bit, so I'm not going to spend too much time, but I oh. love this Triumph Vitesse Mark II. So I just absolutely love the styling on this. I think it was Giovanni Michelotti who designed this. And this, I just love this, these brows. <laughs> Yeah, they're a cool shape. And it's got a clamshell bonnet, hasn't it, these? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Vitesse. Nice and easy to work on the engine, I should yeah, think. Yeah, could be a good first project for me. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, this is lovely, lovely interior. Doesn't Beautiful. Look that, doesn't look that project be this one though. Actually, no, it looks <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit <laughs> just save myself a few quid. Looks a bit too nice. Right, should we go along the back wall? I've got a feeling that's an M5, that one. Yeah, the plate, <laughs> the plate gives it away. But look, it's an absolute beast, isn't yeah, it? It does look quite aggressive. Huh? Yeah, again, not like I said earlier, sort of peak BMW for me was 80s and 90s, early I, 90s. No, I, if, if we were loaded yeah. and you could afford just to run it, you know, just as a car, yeah. not as anything special, yeah. cool, imagine that. Mm. That would be awesome. That would sound great, get you there. Yeah. And it's four door. It is four door, yeah. Incredibly, <laughs> incredibly practical. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what this MG is, I'm afraid. Oh dear, Claire. Yeah, I know. I'm losing Come my on, touch. Somebody in the comments help her out, look. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, it's help lovely. Me help me out. <laughs> oh, now, <laughs> this is one of my favourites of the show, actually. Now show? we have to. Well, show. <laughs> to me, it's a show. It is the like auction. a show. Isn't it, it is like a show. To be fair. Um, yeah, Mark V Cortina. Now, my favourite Cortina is the Mark III, the Coke bottle good, style. Good answer. Yeah, but my, a close second is this Mark V, and I think it's because I love it so boxy and so 80s. And this is solar gold, I think, is the colour. And this is quite a recent restoration, this car. I think it was between 2020 and 2023. Okay. This was restored, so... 
a recent restoration and it looks very well. It's quite dark inside in the interior. I don't know if you'll be able to see much, but... Look on a website, you'll get a lot better pictures. Yeah. I don't think that's going to struggle to find a new home, though. No. I, I genuinely, I really, really love that. And that's the exciting thing. Before we move on... Yeah. I'm a bit of a soppy git. Obviously. And most of these cars, you think about it, this time next week, are going to have new homes. I know. Like that is, and that is lovely to yeah, think of that, isn't it? It is. Definitely. Uh, Ford Popular. That's not how I recognise a Ford Popular, but yeah, that's a bit of a special. Yeah. Don't quite know what's going on with this. Well, people just did things like that. Yeah. And fair play to them. It's a good, good bit of fun, I should think. Yeah. MGB GT. Lovely colour. Yeah, it is a lovely condition. Yeah, really, really nice. Well, I'm not a fan of the plastic. Aren't you? No. Ooh. Chrome. Chrome all the way, yeah? Chrome you for like me. You like pitted and... Now, talking about Japanese performance cars, mm -hmm. Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Ah. This looks rather nice. <laughs> it's even got a magic tree in it, look. Air freshener. Beast, they are. Yeah. Very nice. Lovely. What have we got tucked up in the corner? Is that in the sale? Um, Morris Cowley flat nose. Okay. I believe is what this is called. I don't know much about them, but I should imagine it's 1930s ish. You'll have but to yeah. check now, won't you? I will have to check. You're doing the editing. Oh, now. <laughs> I've just got to walk backwards slowly, dear. Give me a moment. Oh. Let me just spin around to show everyone why I'm being a little bit careful. <laughs> I don't want to go flying and scratch somebody's future pride and joy. Now, I mentioned peak BMW for me. Is this it? 840 Ci, early 90s. This is Calypso Red, I think, this paintwork. Beautiful grey interior, which really sets it off. If you can't tell, I'm a bit enamoured with this. I thought you were 80s. Well, 80s, early 90s. Oh, okay. But this has been sat in a showroom for about 12 months, I think. Right. So, um, you know, we'll need a little bit of recommissioning. Just, but, um, just needs a battery charge. Yeah, no, I should go. think so. But I, genuinely, I'd love this. Mm. I would really love this. Just let me know, Elton, you know, just... Yeah, yeah. Um, which way are we going to go, dear? I'm getting <laughs> snookered here. Let's... Should we go cross back this way again? You can do, but I'm going to have to go and <laughs> look down on you. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on now. Uh, Try the Spitfire 1500. So, like we saw a blue one earlier, didn't we? Yeah, like that. Love the yellow. Love this houndstooth check on the interior. So, we've got some sort of Renault van. I don't know anything about this, do you? A Renault Extra. Oh, okay. That's a real survivor looking at that. Yeah. Right hand drive. Typical sort of funky French interior here oh. with the sort of rainbow. You've I'll got to have check. A quick you've, look, got, was... you've got to have a quick look at that at least. Now, would they have been? Would they have been original or not? Oh, what the heck? Sorry, I'm looking at the sort of safety device behind the driver's seat. Huh. Yeah. Like the wow. dash. Pretty cool. They are cool. I do like a French car. That'll be very basic. Mm. Probably go forever. This looks like a Ford Escort. Let me get around the other side, dear. I'm... Don't know what mark this one is. Would that be like four or something? Yeah. But nice. Nice size. Now, this is a Ford Popular. <laughs> right. Oh, we're going this way now, yeah. are we? Okay. God, you're awkward. <laughs> it's not the first time he said that, folks. No. But yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. That's a more traditional looking Ford Popular. Yeah. I'm used to seeing them as hot rods. Yes, you are. We saw the are. special over there. <laughs> so what about, where are we going now? Because you're... Oh, have I missed one? Right, let's go up this way. <laughs> BMW M3, isn't it? And that'll be why that's in this sale, because yeah. it's a performance one. And Guy seems to like his... He does like his performance and his luxury cars. He likes his German Speaking of luxury cars, Mark 1 Jaguar. 
Now, this is interesting because this has spent most of its life in America. Okay. Uh, yeah. And that'll be why the steering wheel's on the uh, yes. left-hand side. A left hooker. So it'd be a lovely... Looks like the interior looks a little tired and could do with some TLC. Oh, my giddy arm. What? Just, um, can you move to your left a bit? Oh. Oh. Steady on, old boy. Triumph Dolomite <laughs> Sprint, one of Elton's favourites. I think you've just got a thing about vinyl roofs, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. That is your thing, isn't it? They should bring them back. Yeah, they really should. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Yep. Let's see if I can um, oh, hook the viewers inside. Do like that. Brings back a lot of memories for me. That's why I like those. Yeah. I don't just... know whether, should I buy one? Because would it ruin it? <laughs> oh, they say never meet your heroes, exactly. don't they? And then, yeah. So BMW Z3. So yeah. Don't bit see those so often now, do you? No, a bit of a future classic, aren't yeah, they no. now, apparently. I bet they're a good car to drive. Yes. Is there a gym bag in the back? <laughs> Sorry, old cliche. Yeah, <laughs> the old hairdressers, isn't it, as well? Hairdresser car. But it's not, it's a, just a, a nice car now. All the, all the jokes have gone, look. That was when it was all over the roads. Yeah, that's right. Bit different now, isn't yeah, it? exactly. And this is something you don't see every day. Toyota Camry. Wow. My mummy had one of these. Did she? Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah. Oh, and the interior is so. beautifully beige. It was huge because you've met my mummy and she's tiny. I know. <laughs> this, this is huge, yeah. This back in the day was quite a big car. They didn't generally come with an MG gear knob, but... No. We'll forgive it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Uh, what a what a car. I mean, what condition? Yeah, no, it's great. I think you need to talk about that because, okay, there's a little bit bubble on the arch there. Mm. Haven't gone over it with a fine tooth comb. My beloved. Sorry, I'm in Is the there? way. Sorry, sorry, it's all about the car now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the old thing. It's like they've got the, the number plate etching in the windows yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. I love all that. But what a what a conditioned car that is. Yeah. Honestly, that you, you just don't see them no. that nice. That, that's a, that's gonna be a great buy for someone. Oh god, yeah. Honestly, that is. And look at this beast. I think mean, it's a land cruise are these land cruisers? Yeah. I yeah. think they're called. But that, yeah, they're something else, aren't they? That'll be strong money, I should think. And yeah. rightly so, yeah. They were they are an absolute beast. I don't think they're not all about um looks either, that will that will handle itself, that thing. Mm. It's very it. high up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. stand next to that wing mirror, please. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go for scale. Claire's six foot seven. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking, we've got um, your sort of vehicle, haven't we? Well, I feel a bit more comfortable standing next to this one, yeah. So how uh, tall are you again? Five foot four. There you go, lads and so, ladies, four foot five. Yeah, this is a Vanden Plas. She missed that. <laughs> just as well probably Vanden Pla Vanden Plas Princess 1300 1300 I believe let me just double check yes 1300 this is lovely and it's got the fold down tables isn't it which it should have unlike that unlike metro that metro imposter that you yeah. looked at earlier do you know I really love this it's beautiful there's so much room inside as well let's have a look yeah, that's probably because you don't have the safety features no. we have nowadays. <laughs> but you're right, they've it's made a lot space. of space yes. out of a small car, haven't they? They have indeed. Now, this is a Mark I Capri. Am I right? I think so. <laughs> Left-hand drive. What? Yeah. Talking of space, <laughs> it's quite cavernous in here, if you look in here. <laughs> Oh, you can probably poke the camera through the window. Yep. Yeah, very basic inside. Yeah, very basic. It's 1600 GT. There, Toyota MR2. Mm. Now, <laughs> they're not going to miss you in this, are they? No. 
Have you? I can't remember if you've owned an MR2 or not. Mark one, and you oh. you keep banging on about these ones. Ah, uh, yeah. I do like these, although I'm not sure the colour is for me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I like Larry. See, this is where we do differ. <laughs> you like a bit of Larry. I like do you? a bit of Lairiness. I like it. Hmm. Rover P6. Hang on. Let's go back because oh. everyone will shout yellow car. Yellow car. <laughs> yellow car, yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, sorry. Rover P6. V8, proper one, yes. yeah. Yeah. Sorry to anyone who's got a smaller engine one, but I just love a V8. Yeah. Very nice. Sadly, ours got vandalised. It did, unfortunately. Ah. It never looked as good as this one, I'm sure. Now, this is a thing of beauty. I'm this still on the V8. Oh, you're still on the P6, are this you? This is a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, dear. Alfa Romeo Alfetta GTS. I'm going to not let you hang around with any Italian men this weekend. <laughs> There's something going on here. <laughs> This is lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. It's got a rare sunroof as well. You don't always see these with a sunroof. So Great this, condition. This is honestly, this ticks all the looks boxes for me. And right-hand drive. Yeah. Do you know anything about this one? Have you read up on it? Or? Uh, I don't think there's a great deal on there about it, I've, uh, to be honest. Uh, probably is. When we look tonight, I bet they'll have updated it. <laughs> Probably, but there wasn't a great deal when I when I looked. That's what happens. Cars come in right up until the last minute. They have to shut the books at some point. Yeah. But then that's, they're all furiously working in the office right now, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, gosh, absolutely. So, Do you want an interesting fact about right-hand drive cars? Go on. And why the old Lancia was right-hand drive? Go on. Well, they switched over to left-hand drive or Mussolini. Oh, right. switched over in 1924 i think it was yeah. but interestingly italy was a mishmash some areas were left-hand drive oh my some goodness. areas were right-hand drive can you imagine no. but for a long time afterwards they still sold right-hand drive cars because of the mountain roads yeah and also it was seen to be you know you were it was a driver's car with the right-hand drive car you know it was seen to be a cool. posh thing to do yeah, yeah. Awesome. So that's interesting. I didn't know that until recently. And as we used to say where I grew up in Essex, mm. do you want to step outside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've managed to nip out in between showers, so we're going to have to be pretty quick today. We're in the outside area here, so um, I think we're going to have to get a bit of a move on, Elton, aren't we? There are so, a lot of cars out there, Claire, so we yeah. are going to go as quickly as we can. I'm yeah. just going to bam back round to you, my dear. And um, please do drop a comment. Let us know any of the cars you're interested in. And if you see something you like and you want to find out more about it, don't forget to go to their website, angliacarauctions.co.uk. But I must tell you about this brick van here. This is incredible. It's um, a mammoth, I think it's called. <laughs> By name and nature. Yeah, absolutely. And... This AEC. As, yeah, AEC Mammoth Major, I think it is. It's but, huge. Yeah, it is huge, but it obviously for it was used to transport green bricks, which I think are the unfired bricks, right. from the works to the satellite kilns. Okay. The satellite kilns were closed, so this was only in operation as a brick truck, if you will, for 10 years or so. Um then some guy bought it. I think it became an HGV training vehicle of some kind. And then the most recent owner has done something incredible and stuck some living accommodation on the back. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's got a tiled kitchen, wow. cassette toilet, seats, everything. Definitely it's check pretty... out the website on that yeah, one. Yeah, no, it's, it's well but worth a look. To give you an idea of scale, there it is. <laughs> And there's one of my favourite Land Rovers next to it, the 101, which normally looks fairly substantial. Yes. But it looks tiny. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But this one's a left-hand drive, 101. Yep. I, I like these. I did bid on one here before. You did, didn't somebody you? Somebody beat me to it, which fair play to you. That's what an auction's about. Personally, I'd want my steering wheel on the other side, but that's just me. A lot of people would go for a left-hander. Hmm. Great vehicles, loads of potential. I haven't looked at this one on the website, so I don't know if it's kitted out in the back. There you go. 
Right, Claire, as quick as you can yeah. then, my dear. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are we going? There's some little, I've got no idea what that is, some little tug of some description, I don't Was know. Is it an F, FMW, F, something like that, utility tug? That'll have been used on like a, an airport or an industrial estate or something. Okay. Well, if we just pan through the cars, so yeah. beautiful looking fair lane. Wow. Another Triumph Stig. Now this is nice. <laughs> I'm quite interested in this. I like Love this these. bit because you're fairly quiet, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to whiz through things now, haven't we? But I love this era of Mercedes, don't you? I like the style. Beautiful. I like the style. I don't know what they're like mechanically. Yeah. I love an Anglia. Yeah, we love an Anglia. Oh. Triumph Dolomite Sprint. I never know how to check whether they're um, genuine sprints or not, so someone will know. Have a quick look. I know we're supposed oh, to. Oh, you be mean quick. people used to sort of badge them yeah, up yeah. like we did back in the day? Yeah. I'm not saying this one isn't, but you know what I mean? It's like, because uh, they get, you know, reasonable amount of money nowadays. Yeah. I'd probably check first. I'm sure that one's exactly what it says on the tin. Love it. Like the colour. Anyway, I've dwelled too long. <laughs> you have. I think it's an S type Jaguar, looks like it. That's cute. Standard 10. Wow. Or a standard 8, I don't know, standard 10. It's got some interesting front seats in here, you've got to look at those. Local car. Oh, it's a standard 8. East Anglian Practical Classics. Oh. Right, point me in the direction you want me to go, dear. I think we'll just go logically down there these, There is no logic. I think. Well. <laughs> Nice. Nice two CV there next to you. Yes. Can we get down any of these rows? I'm just going to wander down without you. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Let me see what that is, because I don't know what that is. I'll go for the more recognisable cars. A Honda Spike. All right. <laughs> like that. It's very cool, isn't it? The amount of um, cars that we recognise from our era here. Oh, this Funny that, being this, a Yeah, this Scirocco. Very nice, isn't it? Do you like a Scirocco? An XR2 or an XR2i? XR2. There we are. Golf GTI? Yeah. Wow, they've got them all going on. No wonder they, they box these in well. This is all our era, isn't it, really? Yeah. All the cars we couldn't afford back then. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And probably still can't. Still can't, probably. Audi TT, lovely. They're, they're a good car. I've yeah. mentioned those before. Yeah. Loads of people who own them that I know rate them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to struggle to... Oh, no, I think I can get down there. Do you reckon? Yes. I'll, so, I'll go. I'll go here. <laughs> comment when you see I'll something go you the like. Back. Yeah, let Claire's us not know. Say much. She's done a runner. <laughs> I had no idea there were quite so many cars outside. So even the sort of what I would call a modern Beetle is now appearing on classic radar. Yeah. Oh, you're here. I didn't realise you were there. Yeah. Nice, Always there for me. Nice Mercedes. Beautiful. Had a TT. Yeah. Ford Escort. Isn't it? Yep. Yep. Escort bonus, no less. Wow. I love these decals on the side, look. They're awesome. There's some awesome go faster stripes, they are. It was all about the little differences back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Just to launch a new model, as it were. Mm. When really it was just the same one with some different stickers on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
This is where I've got to try and squeeze through, folks. So I excuse know, it's, my, a bit of, it's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Dodgy camera work. 740 GLE, boo. We've got one of these, haven't we? Not an estate. No. Got a saloon. And if she calls me boo once more, <laughs> she's walking on. <laughs> Primera. Yeah. Again, it's... I like these. Yeah, it's just you don't see them so much now because no. they weren't, once they came to the end of their life, they weren't loved. It's got a very nice jazzy interior, this one. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Trying to squeeze in. Honestly, it's... Um, oh, do you know I haven't seen one of these for a while? Streetcar. Do you like those? I do like them, yeah. I had a KA mm. and I always wanted a streetcar or a street KA. Never got the chance. Have a cool looking Merc. Mm. Oh, that looks lovely. I bet that'll drive you to the moon and back still. I just yeah. love them. It's a, it's a big one, so CL500. Oof. Yeah. XR3i. Yeah. Ah. A good project one, this one, for somebody. Right, I'm going to try to squeeze <laughs> and try and get the fronts in. So if I zoom out, it's going to just distort all the pictures, isn't it? No, you can't really win when they're this crammed in. No. Just to give you guys a flavour, and like we say, you can go on the website and have a, a closer look if you're interested in any of these. If you'll be interested in that. <laughs> I love them. Look, the wipers on the headlights. Beautiful. I like the lights on that. What's going on there, then? Awesome. You don't have to come to a sale like this absolutely awash with cash, do you? No. If you wanted to buy something, that looks a bit projecty. Oh, look at that sad little XJS. But the thing is, it's out here, so I'm assuming it runs. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, we should probably explain. Um, generally speaking, the main hall and the outside cars tend to be driven through on the Saturday and the cars we looked at indoors tend to be driven through on the Sunday, don't they? Yep. Oh, oh another MG, look. Yeah. Gore, that's something, isn't it? Matching collar and cuffs, look. <laughs> wow, look at that. Uh, yeah, I've got to try and get through there somehow. <laughs> that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to get through no. that gap. Um, we'll have to go around the back. We're That's getting a bit of a sneak peek because yeah. we're very lucky to get a little look round. Oh. Oh, if you want an ambulance, you can have one. <laughs> <laughs> did you pan to that? I did, and I will yeah. pan back to it in a moment when we can have a... Oh. We already saw it. Now we can see the ambulance there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, a trio of Land Rovers. We are. I'm just going to pan across those. Awesome. Right, let's go over to the other side. So it's not just cars and we're here in Norfolk, so you would expect to see a tractor. Blimey. Here's this cute little International 384. I'd also expect to see a Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool. Look at it. It is, yeah. Number of Land Rovers in this one. Yeah, there is, isn't there? We'll go up the outside here. Oh, poor old taxi, look. Yeah. Is seem... that a real one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Not a fake taxi then? No, I knew that's where that was going. <laughs> Another landy. Xantia, is it? What's that? Is that a Xantia? You don't see those often these days. Oh, Citroen Xantia. Yes. Yeah, look at that estate. Nice. 
almost a pollet registration there. Oh, is it? <laughs> Pollitt's, Pollitt's next project. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Great channel, by the way. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> we chilled. Mercedes, more Mercedes, more BMWs. Mm. The Germans are taking over. They are. Oh, and this Metro. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I would, because this is these have got very happy memories for me. How come we've gone back to filming you looking at cars? Look? I know, sorry. She's hogged all the limelight. Let's move on. MGB GT, Claire? Yes. A few of those in this sale. There are. There is lots of MGs in this sale. <laughs> but pretty much all good ones. Yeah. There's no real sort of um, project ones that I've seen. Mm. Another Scirocco. I love that. Lovely colour. And Mini Designer, we have one of these. We do. A project one of these. Well, do you know was, there was only- It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, now it's a project car. But there was only 2,000 of these made limited edition 1988 and the interior was designed by the legendary 60s fashion designer Mary Quant and he got the lovely black and white stripes in it and the Mary Quant flower on the steering wheel oh really Sadly lovely bonnet away not long ago didn't she, she did mm. bless her yeah lovely bonnet badge there as well we must get ours back up and running mm. did she invent the miniskirt she did I like her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they call it? I don't know much about these. Is that a clipper? They Double call... check. Well, I think that's a term they gave to the Cabriolet yeah. one. Yeah. Very nice. Again, very sort of boxy. I love all that. That'll shift. <laughs> What are you seeing that you like then? This. <laughs> really? Like I said, I was looking at these really ridiculously large ended old, older Mercedes, AMGs and things, and thinking, wouldn't it be fun just to have one, just for like six months or something? I think this is, yeah, it's something ridiculous like 5.5 .5 litre, this is. Well, that's the way to do it. You buy one. CL55. Have your fun in it, don't wreck it, and then sell it. Do you know, it'd I'm be, going. She's, it'd be she's, awesome. she's starting to sound too expensive. Oh, I do like that. Bye, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Loads Ooh. of MGs. Where have they all come from? The sale. <laughs> oh, there's one we recognise, yeah, Claire. There's our old little. I'm sorry to see this go, actually, genuinely. There's part of me that wishes we'd hung on to this and, we've, and we've, done it. We were hoping to do more, but we've just bitten off more than we can chew. Yeah. This came from a deceased estate, runs, drives, stops. Mm. We haven't looked underneath. We haven't done anything else to it. We just said, look, some cars have got to go. The Mini's one of them. Last in, first out, that sort of thing. Yeah. So here she is. Be a good, good enough project for someone. It was MOT'd up until, I think, October 2022. 20, so it can't be that bad. But come and have a look. Get under there. Oh, now here Think it some is. waterproofs. No. Oh, I love this. I know though, you Elton. do. You told me the other night. I'm, I'm not joking. I think this would be a fabulous project for me. I've heard that the engines are really easy to work on, easy to access, air cooled, aren't they? It's just so cute. I just bloody love it. Ah, oh, I think it's guided at three, three to five, something uh, like that. Yeah, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's oh. a lovely, lovely little thing, that. It's great. It really is. I really like it. I know the body work's done. Look, come here, have a look at this. Look. Yeah. But if that went at the right price. Ah, another one. I would be interested. Ah, <laughs> another one of our entries into this auction. Again, we did a couple of videos. There wasn't really anywhere we could go with it. We need the space. We need the headspace more than anything, so here she is. <laughs> yeah. 
We used it. We've driven around a farm in it. Do you never know had what? it up on a ram. We had so much fun with this I car, know. though. And, and they are great fun to drive. I know, and I really, really did enjoy that. But we've got to let some things go. So. Oh, have we gone past it? I just wanted to give an honourable mention. <laughs> an honourable mention? Yeah. <laughs> to this little Vauxhall Corsa. I learned, to, I learned to drive in one of those. They're cool. They are cool. I bet a lot of people learn to drive in those. Yeah. yeah. What did you learn to drive in everyone? Pop yes. Pop below. Yes, yes, do. We'd love to know. We would love to know. Yeah, there's, a nice, Look, there's, another, there's another favourite of ours actually, yeah. a old Volvo 480. Never, never driven one, but no. we filmed them. Filmed them in another video, didn't we? But they look the business, don't they, I think? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Oh, look. Look at hey, Big up the East Coast Retros. That's our local car club, oh, isn't yeah. it? This looks like it's a Lupo. Is it a Lupo? No, far too modern for me. Yeah, I think, I think it's Loads a Lupo. Loads of people probably learn to drive in one of those too. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Ah, oh, this is the other. Sorry, Sorry I keep going on about these bloody... Let's slow down. <laughs> There's like an awesome Mini with the biggest exhaust I think I've ever seen on a Mini here. <laughs> Have a look at that drain, pair of drain pipes. Oh, God, yeah, look at that. Oh, and the wheels. I look love at, it. Look at the wheels. You've just been minied. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Awesome. Sorry, you were saying. I've forgotten what I was looking at now. Yeah, well, oh, no, Mercedes, it'll have a ridiculous engine yeah, and an again, AMG badge. This is another CLK55. Five, five. Yeah, I do really like these. Yeah. I think we've done the front there, haven't we? So, did we get the MR2? No, we didn't. I can't remember now. We got the BMW. To everyone, she's looking at the Mercedes. I'm pretending not to notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Triumph Herald. You like those, don't you? I do like these, yeah. Smashing colours, the two-tone, isn't it? Really nice. And me, I would totally drive that. <laughs> <laughs> so where else have we got to go, Claire? Have we done most of outside? Just or? round the corner, there's the, the non-runners. Okay, let's go around there. Yeah, and now we're in your preferred habitat, my dear. Uh, hence we've swapped and you've gone behind the camera. So we'll have a very, very quick squiz around these because these guys are working as we're um, filming and we, we don't want to get in their way. Fiat 127 Special, I think. All of the cars here are what you class as barn finds, so garage finds, driveway finds. This is a great looking like solid cars for a car i think it's been shut away for quite a long time this is really something else um obviously you know the body work needs to do but quick look inside there claire oh my goodness look at that folks it's not as bad as you'd think is it for a little italian car it's got it needs bits obviously but i love that my favorite bit that old sticker in the back look Oh, that's the old access credit cards. Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So we're going to be quick. Yeah. That diesel Cavalier there? I don't know. I'll have a quick. Probably quick. just stick a key in that and start it up. Yeah. <laughs> CDI. Yeah. And next to it, the Riley that you were looking at. Oh, yes, the Riley RMF. I think this that's being sold as more of a parts vehicle than a restoration, but it's up to the buyer, obviously, to do what they want. I'm just going to have a little look at the interior through here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, looking at the interior there, it's lovely. And I like the, the mesh, perforated roof. I've never seen it before. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why it's like that, why they made them like that. That's how they were made. Um, so I was speaking to someone who knows someone who's got one. Oh, okay. And I asked him, but he didn't know either. So there you go, someone will know. Oh, Hillman Supermix. Yeah, I can see you in this, Hillman Supermix. Yeah, Supermix. God, I love this. So, well, you won't be stealing it in a hurry, that's for sure. Oh no, Got a moss, moss alarm. alarm in it. Again, the interior doesn't look too bad in this, actually. Nah. Ah, Triumph Vitesse. You like those, don't you? I do. If you're gonna bid on one of these, check 
out the website properly. Come and have a look if you can. Yeah. Often, you know, photographs and on YouTube and things, things will look, and it's been raining. I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but what I'm saying is these are sold as projects. Don't, yeah. don't think you're going to get in them and drive them home. It's a bit of a, you know, like you get a nine yard car. Yeah. But they're projects. They're sold as yeah. projects. Um, um, whereas this, I would just drive home. <laughs> would you now? I'd like to see how far you got with it. I would love if somebody <laughs> just did that mechanically and did not touch that. Really? Look at that. That would be the oh, coolest, no, I couldn't, coolest I, Cavalier out there. It would look at the state oh, of this cell. Yeah, but if you make it like legal. There's moss growing there. Nothing and that a bit of mask, uh, gaffer tape wouldn't sort. Oh, my Lord, no. Honestly, leave that. <laughs> leave it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it would take a pressure washer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Another one that we've been coming towards, isn't it? The scimitar. Yeah. All yeah. different shapes. Yeah. Loads of different shapes and styles. I'm not sure what engine that will have in it. I'm not going to start popping bonnets and things. I'm conscious of the fact that the guys at Angler Car Auctions, they're out of shot at the moment, but they are They're working, working. so we're trying not to get in, there. Why? get in their way. I will just have a little look in side for the folks it's a gtc i've just checked the back clear that one. Oh, okay i quite like that yeah i like the shape too. of those with a boot yeah very nice land rover is always a viable project um so it's got some yellow crayon markings where it's obviously been indicated i would have thought for some welding or something yeah so again but you can get everything that will never die that will be rebuilt <laughs> that will go on it will relive yeah, it will camper van project yeah so a lot of people a VW? yeah a lot of people like these don't they yeah. see if i can see anything through the window it's open is it how does that open oh there we go there you go dear there you go it needs to be put into a dry workshop mm. and gone from top to bottom and sorted, doesn't it? Yeah. And I don't know. It should live again. Yes. Have many happy times. It, they're brilliantly built, these things. Yeah. Like thought out the interiors. Oh, gosh, I'm yeah. Looking at all the cupboards and space and bed space. So, I don't know. How dare they put one of these outside? <laughs> oh, I know. Isn't it lovely? But it's nice that you've got different levels of, like the miners here. Yes. Yeah, so you've got some quite dear ones, I think. Yes. You know, it's an auction yeah. you don't know. But, yeah. Um, and then you've got all the way through to the projects. Well-worn seats. Look at those beauties. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, they are well-worn. Carpet looks nicer. Yeah, they've obviously done the carpets. It'd be interesting to see when it was last on the road if it's on DVLA or. Yeah. It might even be in the listing. No, it's lovely, that. Lovely, lovely. Crikey, I haven't seen one of these for a while. This, I saw this being delivered. Right. Our good old friend Neil of NG Vehicle Logistics was here the same day I was dropping this off. All right. It's, I believe it's a one owner. Yeah. Obviously, you don't see many because it was a commercial vehicle. He started it up, first flick of the key on the back of his truck, <laughs> waited for it to warm up, <laughs> put his ramps down, well, actually, he already had his ramps down, Wait for it to warm up, drove it straight off the truck and parked it up. Wow. Uh, tires were flat at the time. I don't know if they've yeah. pumped them up a bit now, but um, it was hilarious. Now they've pumped them up, you get free air now as well. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how long that sat, but it was incredible. He said when he picked it up, it was a little bit of a pig to start. Yeah. So he was expecting it to be <laughs> a pig to start here. He drove them back from, I don't know, Sussex or something like that. Got in it, started it straight away. So brilliant. We're talking about cars that were in there that were great, nice drive away, perhaps more top end, mid end, mm -hmm. mid range. Yes. A project, MGB look. Yeah. So I don't know what condition that's like underneath. I'm not buying it, so, but I'm still gonna have a little look. <laughs> Obviously have the doors, the a seals. Sneaky peek. It's gonna need a fair bit. All oh, right. <laughs> okay, it's not it's not a five minute job. No. Um, and it's the sort of car with the values they reach that if you're handy yourself, 
mm. with a welder. You can do all this sort of stuff yourself, or dare I say it, if you're looking for a parts car. Um, something like this is great. If you were going to get it farmed out to a garage that's going to charge you like, you know, 90 quid an hour plus that or something. Yeah. Perhaps not. I don't know. Yeah. And last, and by every <laughs> means least, possibly not everyone's cup of tea, but they certainly were fun back in the day. I think this is a Spartan kit car. Oh, right. Okay. So somebody will tell me what this engine is underneath. They oh, usually gosh. triumphs, I think. Look at that. Um, but let's just lift our flap up. Oh, here we go. You poke in there and some smart aleck out there will tell us exactly <laughs> what that is. And there's every chance that, well, I mean, it's all fiberglass, so mm. everything could be done or someone might want that engine. I don't know. Personally, I'd like to see it going. I know not everyone likes them, but they're all part of automotive history and that's really important to me. So exactly. let's rally around for the underdogs. Indeed. Are well, we done, my dear? We're done. So all that remains is for us to say is um, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, <laughs> you deserve a medal. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed sort of pottering around with us. Very informal, this video. Let us know whether you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. Remember to like, share, subscribe. comment, subscribe. All of those things. If you get a chance. We would love to know if you had one car budget what's the thing coming to it that you've seen today which one would you bid on yeah and before we go spin around and say goodbye because i'm not even sure we got everything in because i've just spotted an xr3i there claire bye ah, everyone bye